All right, now we're going to go out on the ride. So now you're going to unsnap, and I'm going to follow her. She's a horse this time, okay? She's a horse. So now we're going to follow the horse, okay? Now, some people ride like this. Go ahead, Peyton. Don't stop. My horse ain't moving. Okay, you can stop now because we're way behind. Why isn't my horse moving? That means I have a good horse. If I get on a horse and it starts going somewhere, I'm in trouble, especially if I can't ride well. Okay, so I'm going to give her a command to go. Oh, now she's moving. Lord, let this horse do everything it's supposed to do. Now, some people actually ride like that. That's their first prayer. My horse is running out of gas. All right, don't walk too fast now, Peyton. All right, now, see, my horse automatically is tailgating. Did you see that? She, she's a tailgater. Go ahead, stay in front of me. Now, I'm going to show you what we need to do. My horse is tailgating, so instead of grabbing both brakes, I'm going to grab that brake. Did everybody see me grab my right brake? I'm going to do it again. Instead of grabbing both brakes, okay, yeah, sh go, go to your left a little bit. You don't want to get in that mud. I'm going to use my right brake. Why my right brake? Because I have a fence on my right-hand side. A human is born to do both brakes without any help from anybody. You're born to do that. You'll always pull back with both from birth. What we need to learn is how to stop with one. We need to train ourselves that one brake is better than two. Okay? And we'll explain to you why. So if my horse is tailgating, I'm going to put my brake on. There. And then... See, I'm telling her, you're walking too close to that horse. See, once again, brake and then release. As soon as I get what I want, I release the pressure. There. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get the horse to listen to us, and we don't want her to tailgate. Now, if I was going clockwise in here, which brake would I use? The left one, because the fence is on my left side. Okay. Now, when you go up a hill, you're going to lean forward. That's going to help your horse's back. When you go down a hill, you're going to lean backwards. That's going to help you. The horse doesn't care. So, leaning forward is important for the horse. Leaning backwards is important for you. Now, you, obviously, from the beginning, you don't want to ride like I showed you there. Neither do you want to ride like this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 oh God, she's moving. Okay, we don't want to panic ourselves because what are we going to do to our horse? Yeah, if you're the alpha and you're panicking, what do you think this bait is going to think? Well, let's just relax. No, she's going to say, let's get out of Dodge. Something's happening here. So we don't want to have the horse uh, panicked into something by our own means. Hey, don't tailgate. All right, now what happens if my horse stops to eat and everybody else keeps going. What's my horse going to do? It's going to catch up. It's going to trot to catch up. And this is what most people look like when they start doing that. The horse says, I, I'm going to trot. Whoa! Whoa! All right, and what this is right here, this is the cradle position on a horse. Some form of it. See where my toes are at? My subconscious mind has told my toes to reach the ground or else you're going to die. That's what it's happening there. I have, no, I have no control over my body at that point. I'm in an instinctual position. I got both reins as tight as I can. And see, she's being nice to me. See, I've got them on and I'm never going to let go of them because I'm trying to save my life. My toes are down. What my toes do is down is they automatically release my whole body to go into the cradle position. That's what happens. So we're going to fix that when we learn how to ride better. So what happens here? Is that say my horse stops to eat and I let her? You don't have to let them. If my horse starts to trot up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that same brake that I used when she was walking too fast. I'm going to take that one brake and say, no, 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 no. You're not going to do that to me. But see, the problem that we don't understand as humans is we can't stop this horse unless it wants to stop. You can't do it. Raise your hand if you've been pulled down the road by a 50-pound dog. I have. I've been pulled into fences by one. Why? Because they're as strong as they can be at 50 pounds. And I'm just maybe three times their weight, and they can pull me all over the place. Right? 
Now we're sitting on a thousand pounds of muscle and suddenly they're not going to not do that same thing? No, they're going to run to Texas with us. Now, why don't they run to Texas with one rein instead of two? See, what direction, if I got both brakes on, which direction am I really holding this horse in? Because left and right are equal. Okay, so I'm holding it forward. Which way can they run the fastest? Forward. forward. So I've just locked myself into the missile position. I'm not going to have a good day. So we want to pull on their, on their We want to turn their heads. That's the only way they'll ever choose to stop. Now, sure, you might get lucky and yank on your reins long enough for 20 minutes. They might finally stop because they got tired of you doing something to them. But you can stop more instantaneous with one break. Why don't people do that? Because we're born to use both hands. And our teachers teach us to just keep doing the same thing. They say, well, you're going to use two hands. I'm going to teach you how to woe just like this. Like that or like this. It depends on English or Western. It's the same thing. I'm using two brakes to stop. But it doesn't stop unless the horse wants to stop. Now, in a corral, they'll stop with no panicking. On the trail ride, everybody stops. They all stop. But you go shoot off some fireworks and you're riding your horse out somewhere by yourself. This horse is going home unless they've been trained like we originally showed you. Well, if they're going home, I can't stop them like this. I'm going home, and that's scary. I don't care how good a ride you are, it's still scary when a horse takes off with you and goes to Texas, okay? So in order to be a better stopper, we've got to learn to use our hands individually. You can always use two later on, but if you know how to use one because you trained yourself, you'll know that's the way to go. All right.